Hello YouTube, this is Mr. Part of 60. And today I have something I've been working on for a very long time now. And I figured it was about time to share it. And it is my anti-material rifle. And this is my first update. And uh, I gotta say, there's a lot to show for on this. So let's just get right into it. Um, so I'll start with the stock. This was cut using my scroll saw. And then it is um, it was painted with brown along with the pistol grip. I have, uh, oh, let's let that camera focus. Masking tape right there. And twine, because it's fallout. Has to look a little bit beat up. I put some masking tape on the bolt, which does actually move. I'll show that in a minute or so. Um, the bolt does move, and uh, I put some masking tape there for comfort on my fingers. I have the magazine cut out, but um, I'm making a magazine well, so I can actually remove the magazine and then move the bolt back and forth like that. So I can move the bolt like that, take out the magazine, put it back in, and then close the bolt. That way it just adds an extra feature there. You have this length of barrel, and then this, this is actually going to be a bigger barrel on the end. I just need to cut it because this barrel is way too long. It's as long as the gun. So I still need to size that up correctly. But uh, I'll show you the bolt moving right now. It's going to be a bit tough. So I'm going to put my foot right there and then take this. The bolt does move. Uh, it's, it's quite smooth actually. And then. If you look right there, there's a locking mechanism so that it can go forward and then lock down in place like that. And I do have a covering on the side of it just so that it's not open completely. So I can do it like that. Um, so it stops at the stock. Nope. That's why I didn't say. I was using my foot before. But overall, this is going to be a really nice gun. I still need to put that little flash hider piece on the end. I don't know what you would call that. I mean, I know most of my gun parts, but I don't know what that thing would be called on the anti-material rifle. Um, I still need to make the trigger and the trigger guard. I still need to make the magazine well. And obviously, I still need to make the scope. So, other than that, the gun is coming along really nicely now, and this part is still loose. I have not put it on there yet, but I'll do a little first person. There you go. The bolt is quite large. It's about as long as my hand, so if you want to compare that. And then, just if you want to do a reference, there's a dollar bill. There's my hand in comparison. And there's the dollar bill to the bolt. So the bolt is about as wide as a dollar bill. Um, I thought that would be a pretty generic thing so long as you live in the U.S. Or somewhere that uses U.S. currency. Um, but other than that, the gun is overall coming out really nice. And uh, I did do some detailing paint. So that the inside cover right there is painted gray. The entire thing is painted gray. I tried to get that painted silver on the inside, but it didn't work that well. This painting that gray on the dark gray on the inside worked well. And I closed off the end using wood filler. Or no, plumber's epoxy. And then I painted over it that way. Because this is PVC piping the bolt is made out of. And I wanted the end to be covered up because I couldn't stand that being open pipe. So I filled it up with plumber's epoxy and then just painted over it. Um, overall, this is going to be a really sturdy rifle. And if I do do an NCR Veteran Ranger, or an NC I'm going to start out with an NCR Trooper com costume. I'm going to work on that. Uh, believe me, I'm nothing. I haven't even started. It's just planning right now, okay? So don't, I hope no one's getting any ideas like, oh my god, you started one. No, I didn't, okay? Um, I haven't started anything Fallout related besides this anti-material rifle. But so far it's coming along really nicely. And, uh, 
that's pretty much it. So thanks for watching, and I'll keep you guys posted on any updates I do for the gun. Uh, so I'll see you guys later. Bye.